There's something missing at tonight's Oscars. Michigan. Not only were none of the nominated films made here, but very few films of any kind were made here. That, of course, wasn't always the case. Action! For a few brief, shining years, Michigan was the star of its own movie. In 2008, the state opened the vault and started handing out tax incentives. That's good. That was great. To lure movie makers to the Mitten State. And it worked. It was very cool. Chris oh, no. Newman is an actor, born, raised, and still You're living in Metro Detroit. In Why hasn't he been getting our checks? He is, Mr. Wayne. That's him with Ben Affleck in Superman Batman and in a half dozen other movies shot in Michigan which for a while started looking a lot like Hollywood. There's that excitement. I remember I was walking through the park in, in Birmingham with my daughter and there's Amy Adams standing there with a couple of people just watching her kids play at the park, you know? So it was cool to kind of see that in and around town. Seeing Clint Eastwood coming out and just sitting at a picnic table and eating lunch with us and people walking by and him just standing up and just shaking people's hands. There's something cool about that. Daniel Phillips took a buyout from Chrysler when the auto industry hit the skids in 2007, and he ventured into special effects makeup. The film industry just had to kick right when I took the buyout, and things got really crazy quick. I had a studio probably six months later, and I've been trying to keep one open ever since. But in 2015, Michigan's chief bean counter, Governor Snyder, proposed deep cuts in the incentive program, arguing the movie money just didn't add up. A 2010 report from the Senate Fiscal Agency said each one of the nearly 500 million tax dollars spent so far had generated just 60 cents in private sector activity. Republican lawmakers took the governor's proposal and slashed it even more, essentially killing Michigan's movie industry. Actor Chris Newman's disappointment? Well, it's no act. It's been, um, it's been a little difficult. Uh, the work has dried up. Nobody argues that the numbers didn't add up, but State Representative Jeremy Moss of Southfield says his Republican colleagues missed the bigger picture. I strongly believe in the film incentive. Uh, we didn't even have the program long enough to see its long-term uh, gains for the state. It was creating jobs. It was bringing a creative class uh, into Michigan, into the Detroit area. Uh, and for every dollar that was invested in this economy, money was coming back. Uh, you know what? I come to Michigan as often as I possibly can. Take Mark Wahlberg, for example. While filming several Transformer movies here, the star became so attached to Michigan, he came back with a pile of his Hollywood money to open a restaurant. And he wants to do more movies here, too. You know what? There's so many talented people here. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's great to bring these jobs and opportunities here. And, you know, you have so many wonderful locations, you know. There's so much space and places. beautiful. You know, you have the city, you have the country, you have, you have it all. So it's a great mix. But without incentives, Michigan cannot compete with states that are aggressively pursuing movies. Where's the hot spot right now? Georgia. Georgia is like uh, one of the best places. I mean, you got all the big shows. I think last time I checked, there was well over 100 productions going on right now. And why are they all going there? Because of the incentives. Uh, Georgia was probably our main competitor, and it's a booming film industry and television industry in Georgia that we're not seeing here in Michigan because we closed up our program early. The question now, if Michigan rolled out its film incentives again, would Hollywood come back? We'll see. I think if they have a, a lucrative incentive enough, I think the films will be back just as quickly as they left. It's, at the end of the day, it's about the money. All about the money. Coincidentally, the same reason Michigan lawmakers gave for killing the film incentives. But Michigan's fortunes have improved since then. So maybe it's time for a sequel. Back to you.